But I won't lie, I cannot wait for us to get our home back. <laughs> what about you, Tara? I'm very sad that I cannot go everywhere I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my home. I know the last time I had you guys here, I was sharing my dining room reveal. I even had my husband come on and it was pretty awesome. I know you guys liked it. You said so with your comments. I know some of you guys are probably not following me. If you're new, my name is Monica. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger and now a YouTuber, so welcome. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you love all things home, modern decor, fashion, life, all of that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. So now, welcome, welcome to my home. Welcome back, guys. Um, so yes, on Instagram as well as basically Instagram, I did a collaboration with HDTV, um, Dream Home, and Delta Faucets. And we did a little update to my kitchen and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. You guys have probably seen my kitchen tour, which was very old. Um, we moved into this house a little over a year ago and I loved it, but you know, when I had the opportunity to do some upgrades, of course I jumped at it. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I did, why I picked what I picked and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get in. Getting the kitchen ready for a little revamp. all the tools so this will be my first time like being in the house where construction construction is going on and wish me luck because that means I think about four or five days of a mess and not really you know well I guess I could still make it work but Fridge is out, fridge is here. And it looks like they started taking out some of the tiles. So we're gonna be switching up the tiles, putting in the pot filler and changing the sink. So I am very excited. All right, so day one of construction is complete. The fridge is out here. It'll probably be out here for, what, five days, I think. But it's so weird. I've never lived in construction, but our guy is so good. Everything is already laid out. He said we can still use the stove. Um, yeah, all the equipment is still here. Everything is nice and neat, and I that is one of the things I appreciate the most because I really didn't want my house to be a mess. But everything is really nice and neat and clean. Um, so I'm very pleased right now. And I can't wait to get this stuff in. Guys, you have no idea how amazing these Delta products are. This was one of the collaborations that I was just extremely excited about. Um, just partnering with Delta Faucets and HGTV to, you know, create. Even though my kitchen is already an amazing kitchen, I love it but now it's gonna be perfect. So I'm super excited. I'm very, very excited about this. So yeah, just knowing the type of person that I am, I know I will probably continue to change things in the house, but um, I've always wanted a pot filler, like always. Um, and it was definitely a lot more affordable than I thought it would be to do it. Like I'm not paying for the product because Delta you know, gave me the product to use, but the workmanship and everything is, yeah, it's not so bad. So I'm very excited about it. And then I'm excited about the backsplash and everything. It's gonna be so good, it's gonna be so good. We're doing a chevron detail with the tiles, so yay. It's kind of gonna match my sweater. It already kind of matches my sweater now, but it's gonna be the same thing and complement everything. This is bad, this is bad because now I'm like, oh, you know, he's doing such a good job. I'm gonna probably change the floors in my office. Who knows what else I'm gonna change? Why not, right? <laughs> okay, so the backsplash is off. And um, I guess we're gonna have the pot filler to kind of align with the cabinets. So very excited about that. Um, yeah, so far this is what it looks like. Oops, <laughs> I need to be more careful, but yeah. 
Okay, so today is day three of getting the home clean. Um, the contractor just left. <laughs> Bo can't stand the dirty floors. <laughs> Neither can I, but luckily he's helping clean the floor over there. And I'm gonna show you how far we've come so far. It looks great. So as you see, we decided to do that chevron pattern. I think I mentioned that already. And it looks so good. I love the marble. Absolutely stunning. I'm so excited about this. So excited. It looks so good. Yeah. Um, he's asked him to like, you know, take the day off tomorrow, which is Sunday. So we'll have a day of just us being at home and then back to, he'll be back on Monday and hopefully finish Monday or Tuesday. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, and if you're wondering what that's what that is, that's where the pot filler is gonna go. So yeah. All right, so it's day five, and oh, it looks so good. We're right on schedule. He's going to be finishing it tomorrow. It looks so. I'm so excited about this. Oh my goodness. Wow, it looks so good. It looks so good. And everything's still nice and neat. But I won't lie, I cannot wait for us to get our home back. <laughs> what about you, Itaro? I'm very sad that I cannot go everywhere I want to. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, almost done. He's finishing tomorrow, so we'll have the pot filler in. We'll have the new faucet. <sighs> Let's get up a little close. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So nice and neat, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. I would have to say the star of the room is the faucet. Um, I'm obsessed. As you guys notice, it's a sensor and all that good stuff. So you touch it, it shuts off. There's also a voice command, but um, I'm gonna have that installed a little later, but we have that and it's just an amazing faucet. I got it in this antique steel. It's kind of that brush and it's just absolutely beautiful. It also has, you know, it can pull it down. The pressure on it is amazing. I am obsessed with this piece. It's such a great focal point in the kitchen and I'm here for it. I love it, love it, love it. And then here, I had a pot filler put in. <laughs> I have always, like always, always wanted a pot filler. So when I had the opportunity to get the pot filler, I jumped on it. I was just like, yes, 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 I want a pot filler. And this one, which is absolutely amazing, I love it. It pairs perfectly with the sink faucet and I love it. I just love the way it's modern. It works perfect with my light fixtures, with all the other details in the kitchen. So it's just such a great feature and I'm here for it. we 
were changing the, or not changing, but because we were adding the pop filler, I figured why not use this opportunity to change the backsplash. So I had my backsplash changed and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I love it, I'm obsessed. So this beautiful marble backsplash is absolutely stunning. I definitely wanted to make sure that the backsplash kind of blended in with the original countertops, which are quartz. Um, and just, you know, the whole idea of having an off-white kitchen. And the marble is just so beautiful. The veins are very natural. It really blends in really, really well. And it gives it character because some of the slabs are slightly darker, some are slightly lighter. We also did a white grout. grout, grout. Um, and you know, I, my contractor actually picked the white and I'm so happy he did because it really pops and I just love it. I love the chevron pattern. I really feel like it adds a bit more detail. We also went with a bigger tile. If I'm correct, it's a three by 12. I'm not sure. I'll definitely have the right measurements in the description box and floating through. So yeah, I love the chevron pattern. I love the detail. I love it. And it just looks so great against the backsplash. Another thing that we want to do, not right now, but eventually we want to change the range. I'm thinking of a wolf, but yeah, definitely want to change that. But um, as far as the backsplash and the fixtures, the faucets and the pot filler, I'm obsessed. I just, I really, really love the space. I really love the way it all came out, everything looks great together. It's very clean, it's very modern, just the way I like it. And I know, so for the first time I did my kitchen tour, a few people were like, oh, there's nothing in your kitchen, it's so clean and blah. If you guys haven't seen the original kitchen tour, I am somewhat of a minimalist. I know like, yes, I would say, yes, somewhat of a minimalist when it comes to my home decor. Um, I just don't want things everywhere. So I tried to make sure that I had very little on the counter. This was a later addition to my countertop. We had it when um, I did the first kitchen tour, but I just decided to keep it under the, uh, in one of the cabinets instead of, instead of having it on display. But now I, d I have it on the countertop and it looks great. It definitely complements the um, pot filler as well as my Nespresso coffee maker, which I love. My husband uses this the most, so I, I would say he loves this the most. And these are two new added features as well, the cutting board and then this fun little marble. Um, I use it to like grind guacamole and stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it looks great. I love it in the space. I still have a nice clean countertop, not too much going on. So I love it um, and it just, it works. So here we have the fruit bowl, which is absolutely stunning. It's from CB2. It's just such a great fixture and it ties in well with the cutting boards on the other side and just some of the other wood elements that I added in the space. Um, here we have this fun wooden riser. Um, always have a candle in the kitchen and then you've got your lotion and hand wash. And then the kids' favorite part, the cake, <laughs> the cake tray. Um, I picked this particular one because it has that brass detail. So I wanted to bring some brass into the kitchen because um, the fixtures in the dining room are brass, as well as some of the fixtures in the living room. So I felt like this was a great way to include um, brass into this space with most of the hardware being that it's um, silver or brushed um, nickel. So it just looks really good. I really, really love my kitchen right now. Oh, I almost forgot the light fixtures. The light fixtures are absolutely stunning. 
Um, I love them. This is probably one of the details that came with the house that I just absolutely adored and I have no intention of ever changing them. And they just look really great with all the details. They look great with the faucet, with the pot filler, with my KitchenAid and everything else in the kitchen. So I love it. Oh, last but not least, we've got um, my white um, counter bar stools. So these were also from CB2. The reason why I'm forgetting all these little details because I did everything already in my kitchen tour, but I do realize that some people haven't seen that. So I'm just gonna go over everything really quick. And these chairs are from CB2. I love them. They're leather. They look absolutely great. Um, there is a lot of white in the space. So this is a great amount of white. You've got the silver um, legs of the chairs, which just look great with all the other fixtures. And then the carpet. This was a piece from West Elm that I love. And it's just, you know, it's a fun little carpet. It's an indoor outdoor carpet. So, you know, you can take it outside, you can hose it out and all that good stuff. And it just adds a lot of nice character to the space. And I love it. All right, guys, so that was a quick tour of my kitchen, um, my updates, why I absolutely love everything. Um, do you guys have a pot filler? What do you think about mine? Let me know with your comments below. I've always really, really wanted one. I've never had one in my kitchen, so this is my first pot filler in my kitchen, and I'm so happy. Also, this was a lot more affordable than I thought it would be. I really thought to do this would be extremely expensive, but I have to say, you know, um, with the workmanship and everything and the tiles, it was under, it was about 23 or 2400. Um, I do have to say the faucets and the pot filler were gifted to me from Delta Faucets, but um, the workmanship and the tiles and all of that. So I think these upgrades are a little bit more affordable than you think. So if you are considering, um, you know, giving your kitchen a little bit of a makeover, don't hesitate to do it or at least reach out to a contractor and see if it's applicable or, or if, you're, if it works within your budget. So I really feel like it all depends on what your budget is, but you can do it. You can really, you know, give your kitchen a nice update without breaking the bank. So, yeah. I will have all the links to everything that I got in the description box. Give me that thumbs up. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Check me out on Instagram because I'm gonna have all the content um, that I created for Delta Faucets on my Instagram channel. That's odd by Moni. Uh, what else? Check out my website, oddbymonica.com because I do have a lot of home content on the website as well. I've got my little home section and it's really fun. And make sure you check out my original kitchen tour to see you know, what it looked like before, what it looks like now. Which ones do you like better? Let me know with your comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>